Luke here with catsandcarp.com and today I'm doing the commuter fishing challenge. Oh, oh. Well, good morning and welcome to the commuter fishing challenge where I am going to try to see if I can't catch a fish on my way to work this morning. Now, for those of you who don't know already, I'm actually a criminal defense attorney. That's my day job. So I'm off to court and I'm going to be fighting the man and I'm going to see if I can't fight some fish too. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, Becca. Yes. Do you have anything for breakfast? Yes. What do you got for breakfast? Yes. Oh. I don't want to be on video right now. <laughs> okay. I love you. <laughs> well, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to go fishing for, and I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to go fishing, but I am 100% sure this is going to be the best commute ever. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Nathan. Oops. <laughs> Gotta travel light because I'm not hauling a bunch of gear in my suit. So let's uh, figure out what rods we should bring. I want something for carp and something for uh, catfish, particularly bullheads. So, oh my gosh. I need to clean my garage again. Oh, it's getting bad. All right, I'm gonna use my Chubb Outcast stalker rod with uh, a method lead for carp. And I've got a Cabela's Mag Touch uh, rod with a pencil float. Used for uh, bullheads or catfish or whatever. All right, let's see what we got for bait. All right, got some carp bait. All right, and let's see. Ah, some worms. All right, that should do it. There we go. That's as much gear as I need for today. Got to keep it classy. Ooh. All right, time to say goodbye to the kids. Let's see if they even notice. Oh, buddy, I love you. I'll be back. I'll be back. Your emotions are appropriate. I am awesome. While I'm gone, you're going to be the man of the house. Take care of your mother and brother, okay? Okay. Well, I'm going to be at preschool once I'm done with the house. No, well, then Nathan will be the man of the house. It'll, it'll be, yeah, it'll be good. Okay, cool, man. See you later. Love, yeah. you. Love you, buddy. Bye bye, Nathan. Good boy. Bye bye, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> All right, it's time to go to work. All right, well, it's 9.04 and I've got to be at the court by about 11.15. So, got a little bit of time, but not much. Also, you now know that I have a wonderful commute. My morning commute's a little bit different than most people. Um, I leave for work different times every day and go to different locations every day. I, I'm a criminal defense attorney and so I usually go to court in the morning. And that can be pretty much any court in Northern Virginia. So sometimes I'm heading to Prince William County or Fairfax County or Loudoun or Fauquier or you know, wherever. So it, it varies a lot day day to day, um, which gives me a lot of opportunities to do some fishing on my way to, way to work. Now today, I've got a group of lakes that I have never really taken a close look at. I just kind of saw them on a map and thought to myself, hmm, I bet there, there might be something in there worth looking at. So I'm going to kind of cruise by these lakes, and if they're not uh, posted no trespassing, if they're public lakes, which I think they are then uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Definitely don't want to get arrested for trespassing on my way to defend somebody in criminal court. That would be ironic. Hey look, clients! Well, I'm here and it's only 9.18 and I'm gonna go check this lake out and hopefully, knock on wood, it's not 
covered, no fishing signs. So we'll see what happens. All right. Well, this is a pretty park. I've never been here before. Ah, uh, here we go. I was afraid of this. Now, many of you may be tempted to fish in a place that says no fishing anyways. But in Virginia, trespassing is a class one misdemeanor punishable by up to two and a half thousand dollar fine and 12 months in jail. First rule, being a criminal defense attorney, don't go to court for free, especially as a defendant. Well, that was a little frustrating, but I got a couple plan B's in my head. These are some other little ponds that I've never been to, so hopefully we won't run into the same problem, but uh, let's go uh, check them out and see if we can't catch a fish before I need to be in court. Well, here we go, another lake, same problem. No trespassing signs all around, says private property, so gotta respect that. So. We'll try another spot. See if I can go fishing without getting arrested. I think we finally got some luck here. This place appears to be uh, open to fishing. Ooh. Yeah, it looks real sketchy down there. Oh well. Unfortunately, I've spent so much time finding this place that I only have about 45 minutes before I need to head to work. So. We gotta make this quick. Nice piece of worm on a slip bobber. Let's check it out there and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna take a big, big glob of this uh, jello bread and corn mix. Okay, gonna slap it on there. S stick this in there. And if any carp finds this, they're gonna be in love with it. Okay, I got my carp rod sticking out this direction. And I've got my slip bobber over here. I've just got my stuff laying in the woods. I have got to make sure I do not fall in this water. I cannot fall in. <laughs> I gotta be really careful. All right, so I have 40 minutes left till I need to get on the road and get head to court. So I've got my timer set because I cannot be late. Late is not an option. So let's see if we can catch something in 40 minutes. Oh, the bluegills, I think, stripped me. Really should have a smaller hook. Oh, there we go. Oh, got off. I've used up 10 of my 40 minutes and I've had one fish on, had a number of small bites, a lot of fish stealing my bait. Let's see if we can't get this done. Oh, never really appreciated how terrible dress shoes are. And I. I feel like I'm gonna fall in at any second. Okay, I think I need to drop my bait down a little bit lower. But we're gonna try that and see if that helps. There we go. What we got? What we got? Oh, <laughs> that counts. That's a fish. <laughs> Big old fat bluegill. <laughs> All right, that is something. That is something. That counts. All right, let's put him back. Oh, he... All right, I have 14 minutes left in my challenge and I got one bluegill on the bank. Let's see if we can't do better than that. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, what we got? Ooh. That's 
the big fat blue bluegill. Foul hooked him through the nose. All right, there we go. Fish number two, 10 minutes left. Two bluegills in 30 minutes. Not setting any records here, but best commute I've had in a long time. Five minutes, 14 seconds left. Let's see if I can pull out another fish before it's time to go to work. All right, that's it for my timer. Time to get out of here. It's been fun, but I gotta go to work now. Well, I don't smell like fish too much and my suit's not too bad, so it's time to get to court and bring my A game. This is uh, one of the better commutes I've had in a long time. Well, I made it to court and I've got 10 minutes to spare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to click subscribe and to click the notification button to get new videos multiple times a week. We're doing two videos a week here all through the holiday season. So stay tuned. We've got lots of awesome videos coming and a ton of rod giveaways. Thanks for watching.